All right, welcome back again, everyone. Welcome to 2013. This will be our first review for the new year. And uh, I guess by now everyone's seen where Cigar Aficionado rated the uh, Florida Las Antilles from my father, their number one cigar of the year. Um, many of you have seen me review that cigar uh, middle part of last year, and I didn't quite match their assessment, but uh, everybody's tastes are different. So what do you think about that? Uh, you, uh, you agree with them? or more along the lines of what I did. It doesn't matter, it's, uh, uh, it is what it is. And uh, they are the most uh, uh, renowned uh, cigar raiders. They were the first ones to put together that sort of thing. So uh, a tip of the hat to the My Father folks. I am a huge fan of Papine and all his cigars. So uh, congratulations. Now today we are going to review a brand new cigar. I'm not even sure if it's on shelves yet. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how much is known about it out there, but this is a, uh, I've already sampled this cigar and it's uh, very impressive. This is the Bugatti. Now we're all familiar with Bugatti and their high-end uh, uh, products. Uh, they decided they wanted to get into the uh, cigar market and have a nice fine luxurious cigar so uh, this is it uh, it's actually made by Perdomo and uh, if you know if, uh, if you look at it close let me get uh, the uh, one of the cool things about this cigar uh, even though you I've always said you can't smoke the band but the band is very cool it's almost a 3d effect on that uh, center point see it you can just about make it out when I rotate it around all right the cigar is 7 by 54 feels real nice in the hands it's uh, Connecticut as you can see there is the density and it is quite dense and a little bit about the cigar the uh, let's see here it uses four-year-old aged Seco leaves five-year-old aged Viso leaves and six-year-old aged La Hero. So, uh, very interesting. Um, Connecticut, so what do you expect from a Connecticut? Uh, probably mild, but with this manufacturer maybe heading toward medium, maybe more. So let's just uh, sample it right now, get right to it. The Bucati, Bugatti Churchill, seven by 54. All right, very nice looking cap. I didn't check to see if it was triple cap. Doesn't really matter, I don't think it is. Oh yeah, that should do the trick. Yep, uh, great draw, perfect draw. There is a, there are citrus notes at this point uh, on the line of uh, what I would call grapefruit and it has some sweetness to it. The pepper is uh, uh, quite good here at the very early light up. Uh, with the first few puffs, the pepper hits you at about a seven. Uh, let's see if it holds there. Um, very much like a sweet grapefruit at this point. Not overly sweet and not rich, right at light up. So 
Let's let it sit for just a minute and let the flavors settle down. I'm gonna let that even out right there. Uh, and I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, the cigar did even out the burn very nicely, about maybe a half inch in. And the flavors are still one of a very nice sweet grapefruit. There is a nice vanilla backing to it which tones down any bitterness from the grapefruit. Uh, there are coffee notes at the base of that. The pepper is still hovering around a seven. It's very nice. Um, the cigar is very smooth. It's, it's, it's very silky, if you will. The uh, finish, well, the finish sort of reminds me In some ways, it's cream, bordering on caramel, but I'm gonna stick with a cream. And you say, well, wait, there's two different things. Well, caramel is very sweet. It's, uh, you know, depending on the type of cream we're talking about here, uh, it could be very close to uh, to caramel. It, it, it's, ugh. It's going that direction, but it, we're gonna stay with cream. And there is some lingering pepper. Uh, nice cigar so far. I would call it mild to medium at this point. And I expect it to go a little further. So this is a very long cigar. Uh, seven inch by 54, we're only a half inch bordering on three fourths of an inch in. Um, one thing I want to try to do this year is to give you the length of the cigar burn. Um, so if we say this cigar started maybe 10 minutes ago, uh, I'll get you a rundown of how long it burns. I'll try to. Bugatti. Churchill. just over an inch in call it an inch and a quarter and uh, there are nutmeg notes that have filtered in to combine with the grapefruit citrus uh, which is still sweet very nice no real significant richness yet but uh, still nice and sweet uh, one thing that's interesting just happened is sort of random my wife who is who has been around me smoking cigars for years just came in and asked what cigar is that i said bugatti why she says it smells nice so take that what uh take that to the bank uh it's it's a, that's a good good thing to hear if you uh you guys are around your ladies and uh you might ask them so the uh, Bugatti Churchill, the Connecticut, is uh, still very smooth, very nice. Um, the finish, I, 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 I was sitting there a minute ago and I'm thinking, you know, this thing could go either way. You could say it's cream, a very rich, sweet cream, or you could just go with caramel. It's just right on the line. So uh, very pleasing. And a nice amount of lingering pepper. I like the lingering pepper. Uh, so there we have it. So far, about an inch and a quarter in, going along nicely. Well, here we are. Oh, about three, three and a half inches in, and at the one hour point, there's where you are at one hour update on the flavors the vanilla notes have pretty much gone away the grapefruit citrus and nutmeg are still there uh, also now you have roasted pecan very uh, subtle but noticeable uh, to mix with that grapefruit citrus and nutmeg the um, 
Cigar may have moved now into the medium bodied range and the finish is unchanged. So there we have it. Uh, going along nicely, as I like to say, uh, still very uh, smooth and very enjoyable. Still looking for some added richness. Uh, if it achieves a nice, sweet richness, this will be a fantastic cigar. As it is, it's very good. The Bugatti Churchill, just shy of the midpoint. All right, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Here at the end, you've got grapefruit notes, subtle <coughs> nutmeg, and now in place of those pecan notes, there's notes of wood. Uh, the pepper remained very good throughout. It never got below a six. It hovered between a six and a seven the entire time. The coffee notes are still there, sort of at the base, and the finish here at the end did somewhat change, it's gone to more of a sweet cream um, and some lingering pepper. This cigar has a very sneaky Lajero. It is medium bodied, okay? So it doesn't re uh, exceed medium bodied, but you feel the Lajero now a lot. I can feel it and uh, it's very sneaky because it, it sort of takes a while to get to that point. Uh, you really don't really feel it until about the two thirds, three quarter point of this Churchill. Uh, this, the cigar did not achieve richness like I hoped it would and for that reason the score is going to be held down so I, I like richness in the cigar and if the cigar had rich a significant richness it would be amazing but as it is it doesn't so that will, will reflect in my score. Uh, the burn time for this cigar is two hours. Uh, we're at the two hour point right now very enjoyable cigar and, and it has a lot of Perdomo-esque qualities to it. I can definitely tell they produced the cigar. I'm not sure if these are on shelves. I do not know the price of these cigars so I can't help you there. Uh, anyone that sees them on in, uh, in shops feel free to comment on this video or on the blog. Okay there you have it. The um, That's the rundown on the flavors and what have you. The Bugatti Connecticut Churchill. I'm giving a score of 89. Very good. Not quite to my qualifications as a great, but still very good. Uh, I appreciate them sending these to me. I have enjoyed them quite a bit. And uh, it's probably something you, could, you would have uh, probably your middle afternoon type cigar or later. So uh, there you have it. I have enjoyed it. And the uh, Bugatti Connecticut Churchill, 89. That is our benchmark for this year. We'll see where we go from there. <laughs>